Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the Amati First Step Pirate Ship Build. Wow. So, in this episode we're going to start building the actual pirate ship. Uh, important that you study the instructions before you start building. Uh, there's only a few steps to the whole ship, but it will take you hours. So, good fun. Um, so, yeah, step one, obviously, we shall need both parts of the hoe and we need two dowels which are six millimeters in diameter and we need that part which is in this bag so first of all let's open this bag I use my hobby knife which is very sharp so please be careful do not cut towards you but always away from you so let's open this bag and then we have this part which has 3390 and this is already loose Oop, back in the box so we don't lose it so you could probably just wiggle it out uh, and then you might damage uh, part of the kit so I'm gonna use a hobby knife and very carefully just cut through this and get my knife stuck in my cutting mat <laughs> always while on camera so that's through because these are laser cut they have very thin yeah, in a plastic sprue we call them gates, but they're not gates, of, of course, so uh, attachment points to uh, the actual piece that it was cut out of. So now we have two little wooden bumps. I would call them nubs, but I'm not sure if that's the correct term. So we'll cut them off. I'll cut them off like these, so my thumb is protected I might damage this bit but I'd rather damage this bit than my thumb so I'm very carefully gonna just remove that bump with my knife so I'm not putting any major pressure on it just lightly going over that same with this let's find this oh drop it obviously let's find a safe area to put my thumb and gen just gently cut that away like that this isn't the safest area but yeah <coughs> excuse me <coughs> now with the I've you can use normal sandpaper I've got specific model made sanding sticks but yeah, just any fine grit sanding paper will do. I may have also, let me find it, um, a cheap uh, nail polishing file cushiony type thing. It's very soft, it's, it's very cheap and it's got different grits so this is very coarse, this is finer and then there's a few steps all the way to uh, gloss so it's similar to to model making products but very cheap so you can also use it you know what let's use a cheap uh, beauty store bought uh, sanding stick so I'm taking the um, fine side not the finest all of the sides this is too coarse so let's take that and just lightly sand that a bit there we go I'll run my nail down over this and that's smooth okay so we have both whole parts and this part and now it says we need two pins number four and number five and the uh, uh, 6 or 0.6 
no, 6 millimeter dowel. Both pins should be one 19 millimeters long. Round both heads and glue them into the side. You drill holes in part one. Remove this. Yes, insert glue. So basically, we're gonna line these up somehow and squish these together, but then properly and glue this. So this will be your basic whole shape. Well now, we have this set of woods, little pieces of wood, and we need a 6mm dowel. Where did I put my knife? And there we go. So these are taped together, so I'm just gonna cut through the tape very carefully. And then I shall take my slidey measurement thingy, which I don't know the English word for, but that's okay. And find the one that is six millimeters wide. I'm guessing this one. Yes. So, zoom you in a bit. As you can see, it's six millimeters wide. There we go. So we need these and put the rest aside. They need to be 19 mil long. So let's just put that on this scale. 19. There we go. So the zero on the slidey bit correspond with 1.9 centimeters on the uh, beak. Whoop, stay in focus. Now Whoop. these are just as wide as these are so I could probably try and mark this a bit. There we go and take a pencil to make it more clear. And now just to be sure, let's measure that again. And it is exactly 1.9. And it is very, something is shimmering. Anyway, so we need to cut this. There's several ways you could use a saw. And I'm totally unprepared, so there should be a saw in here somewhere. Let me find it. Where is my saw? There we go. So this is basically just a saw blade with a bit of tape stuck on it. And it's used for uh, sawing metal. So it's a very fine saw that I've been using for uh, cutting my model making woods. So we need to get that on there as straight as possible in shot as well and gently start sawing like that. Don't put any pressure on the saw, just let the saw do all the work. There we go. That's one and I'll just do the second one off camera. So it says in the instructions to round uh, the edges to stay in shot because, well, it fits like this, but if you round the edges it should go in better. So I'm just gonna check without any glue, importantly, let me zoom out a bit, <coughs> excuse me, so I'm just gonna dry fit this. Uh, dry fitting is not putting glue in on or in any of the holes or parts so you can just check if it if it all fits so I'll just put this in here to line that up and take that one put that on there and there we go 
so it looks like we may not need to round the heads at all it all lines up nicely yes all right yeah awesome so take that out take all the pieces apart again so it could be yours your kit has a, a bit of a tighter hole and then you just can round with your sanding just take the coarse side of your sanding stick and just round it like this just a bit so it will go in smoother and it doesn't matter if it's completely round just saw it a bit like this, file it a bit like this, sand it uh, oh, wrong side zoom out, focus focus is it in focus? Uh, I'm not sure so it's uh, a bit rounded no need to go into a sharp point and you do that on both edges and it will fit into the hole easier like that so nope. I have no need for rounding in my kit so I'm gonna do the same thing again for the second dowel and uh, then we shall glue uh, both sides of the hole together and we'll call that part two of this series I think yes <laughs>